Food stamps is the topic of today's video. Did you know that 10% of the entire U.S. population is now on food stamps? I find the food stamp situation to be quite interesting. The old amount per individual under the food stamp program used to be $170, but the new stimulus added funds to max it out at $200 an individual. I was at Walmart recently. It was on the weekend, and I cannot tell you how packed it was. I cannot tell you how many people were there. It was insane. I had to park all the way at the back of the parking lot, and that's just, I, don't, I can't even remember the last time I've had to do that. And then it occurred to me, in this horrible, horrible recession slash reality check depression, a lot of people are now on food stamps, and so they're going to do their shopping at Walmart. And there are a lot of reasons why people do this. I think primarily because of Walmart's uh, pricing policy. If you shop at Albertsons or Fry's or any other place and you happen to have their flyer, you know, the flyer with the deals and the discounts, and you bring it into Walmart and you buy that exact same item, they will price match it. It saves a lot of hassle on having to go from supermarket to supermarket for the best deals. But more to the point. So for those of you on food stamps, or who will be on food stamps, I pose a question to you. Is it really economical for you to shop at Walmart when you could be shopping at a warehouse such as Sam's Club? I have recently discovered the pure economic joy of shopping at Sam's Club. If you think you're getting a great deal at Walmart, then you haven't seen Sam's Club. Today, I want to throw some numbers at you, and you can verify these numbers in your locality. I must warn you that from state to state and area to area, these numbers will vary, but they will be confirmed on your computer if you have internet access. The first thing you need to do is go to the Sam's Club website. Then go to the tab that says click and pull. Then you need to click on groceries. You see, the interesting thing about Sam's Club is on their website, it lists the price of all the food in their store. You can't do that with your local supermarket. For some reason, they're afraid to show you the prices of what it's costing you when you go shopping. I think I know why. Because they can't compete with Sam's Club. The membership is $40. Now, if you're on food stamps, that's going to be difficult to come up with. But well worth it. I'm going to throw some numbers at you. Please pay attention. Now, I did this under the old guideline of $170. Let's begin with what you could buy for $170 at Sam's Club. You could buy a 25 pound bag of flour for $6.12. You could buy a 10 pound bag of sugar for $5.99. A quick correction to my notes. You can get one 101 ounce can of green beans for $2.93. You can get one 106 ounce can of corn for $3.68. You can get another fruit cocktail can for $4.98. Now all of those cans were number 10 cans. Again, you can buy a 50 pound bag of rice for 16.56. You can get two bags of instant yeast for 4.16, and that's two 16 ounce bags. You can get five dozen large grade AA eggs for 6.53. You can get two gallons of 2% milk for 3.79. You see in Sam's Club with the milk, two of them come in a box, so you buy one box for $3.79. You can get the Oscar Myers Sub Sandwich Kit, which comprises of turkey and ham, 32 ounce pack, for $6.86. You can buy 5 pounds of Bar S. Frank's hot dogs for $5.18. You can get 3 pounds of Bar S. Bacon for $6.83. You can get three 44 ounce containers of Heinz ketchup for six sixty four. You can get one one hundred and five ounce container of mustard for three eighty two. You can get one gallon jar of pickles for three ninety eight. You can get a one gallon jar of mayonnaise for five eighty seven. You can get a twenty five pound bag of pinto beans for twelve sixty five. We're now at an approximate one hundred and nineteen dollars. But let's keep going. You can get two Jif Extra Crunchy Peanut Bar, uh, yeah, one second. All right, you know, uh, peanut butter? Well, you can get two peanut butter containers, 40-ounce jars, two of them, 
for seven twenty two. Jardelli triple chocolate brownie mix eighty ounce six eighty seven. Pure Wesson vegetable oil, and we're talking you know a gallon a gallon of it for seven twenty two. You can get the members mark premium ground coffee forty ounce nine eighty eight, and you can get uncooked chicken tenders a sixty four ounce bag for twelve sixty seven. That brings the amount up to, I believe, $160. But I decided to stop there. I think you get my point. You should look into Sam's Club immediately. It will benefit you tremendously. I just want to finish up this video and make sure we're clear about it. You can go anywhere else, or you can go to a warehouse such as Sam's Club and get more food per your dollar. It makes economic sense for every single person on food stamps to shop at Sam's Club. You can live like a king for a month and you'll never run out of food. And I'm talking good food. I mean, if I could have gone to $200 in the video, boy, I'd be buying lobster, steak, and meat. And just think, every other month you can change up what you buy. You buy chicken one month, you buy hamburger the next. Your children, yourself, your family, you will never go hungry and you will never feel like you're eating crap food. You will eat very well. So please consider what I'm saying and pass it on to your friends and family who may be on food stamps. Thank you and have a nice day.